Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of everyone's favorite show, Travel Talk Tuesday. Good morning ladies. Good morning. Oh, they're peppy today. <laughs> this is going to be a good day. Uh, everyone's in good moods and mm -hmm. yeah. And everyone's ready for an adventure because today we're going to talk about adventure travel, but for adults, right? Yeah. Yeah. Poor kids. Very agreeable today. <laughs> Document this, record it. Okay, all right, for everyone, that's good. But before we jump into our topic, I think we have to make, as travel agents, travel yeah. specialists, we have to uh, take a moment and kind of just recognize a lot of people are going through a difficult time right now with Hurricane Fiona, right? Yeah. A number of resorts that we have booked people at, the places that we've been and visited yep. are certainly under um, the impact of the hurricane. So we want to send them all of our, our positive thoughts, prayers, all that good stuff and know that we're tracking it for all of our clients that are going to be going on vacation yep. soon, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's paradise down there, but it's the price you pay yeah. down there. This time of year. Yeah. Yeah. They go through a lot. They do. You can see when you go down there that, you know, some after effects of hurricanes and tropical storms, but uh, well, they're resilient. Today, resilient. Was it a year ago today was Mar the one? No, not a year. A couple of years. A couple of years that hit uh, Puerto Rico so bad. Yeah. yeah. They're getting it again, but yes. they're resilient. They'll bounce back and uh, open us again, open again for all of us to go visit yep. their little slice of paradise. Yeah, I have to say, you know, I just got back from the MSC cruise. I'm kind of thanking God that it was yeah, last were, week and not oh, this yeah. week, or else that would have been quite an adventure on the SS Minnow. You know, MSC, <laughs> we've been all over the place, and we had a couple first-time cruisers. It would have been quite a show, let me tell you, but we made it back safely. <laughs> How was your cruise? It was very good, you know. Good. I had never been on MSC and um, had an opportunity to go check out one of the newer ships. Uh, Christy was on Davina not too long ago. This was uh, Seashore, which is one of the newer class of ships. They're going to release seascapes very soon in December there in the, in Florida. And so, uh, beautiful ship. Interesting, you know, it's MSC, Mediterranean Shipping Company. Mm -hmm. A different kind of approach to cruising a little bit. So they do things a little bit differently, the Italian way. But um, this is a good experience. <laughs> so we met a lot of people. MSC is a little bit more international in their, mm -hmm. in their audience, in their cruisers. So I'd say us Americans are about half the ship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's how it was with yeah. yours. Yeah, it was interesting. But, you know, what? that made me nervous going into it. But I think I went with a small group. Each of my sisters brought a friend. You might have seen Laura on last week's messed up video. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so we were a small group, but then we made friends with a very big group because our group, believe it or not, is very loud, extroverted, and like to have fun. So we met some people from, uh, from Cuba, from Peru, from Palestine, uh, from Louisiana, from all over. <laughs> Great experiences and some, some lifelong friends, I'm sure. So um, how good experience. The, how was the pizza? That's always like my yeah. barometer. I was very impressed with the pizza. It's MSC's probably one of the better pizzas. Pizza. It, it, they're making it fresh there. You see them. Um, it's, it's a regular oven, not a brick oven, but mm -hmm. it's a very thin, very, very fresh, good, good. They had a white pizza that was <laughs> a little slice of heaven, no pun intended, but it was, it was, it was good. Good pizza. Good. So, we'll walk them home. So it's good to be back. And uh, I don't know if you saw our post uh, this past week. We are in our new office. So um, finally. So Tamara kicked us out of the upstairs of the house. Now we're in the dungeon. I mean the basement. And so uh, we have brand new offices. Uh, check out that picture. And I'm sure eventually we're going to be uh, we're going to be doing a little studio down there too. So eventually yeah, yeah. you'll see us with a new backdrop. Even though everyone loves our backdrop. Yeah. My mom said she loves the, the oh, stuff you have on the, the ledge and stuff. So, but we're going to eventually be um, moved downstairs into our new studio. So we're working on that too. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Good. They're both very quiet today. It's kind of been nice in the office this morning. Sleeping, um, sleeping please. So. so what we thought we'd talk about today is adventures. Now, um, I'm not the most adventurous person. I don't know. You guys are a little bit adventurous. A little bit more so than me, right? Oh, yeah. So we thought we would talk, and a lot of people like to travel looking for adventures. So, you know, we have our niches, but we can book any kind of travel. But we thought it'd be um, interesting to look at ways to have adventures and that, get that thrill in each of our niches, mm -hmm. and um, and so I thought that'd be a good topic. Does that work? Yeah. Good. Good. You have no choice at this yeah, point. So, although Tamara goes off every time with her own rules. So. Mm, how can I go off? <laughs> so, uh, I, Chrissy, we'll start with you. Okay. You're all about all-inclusives. Yes. You know, when I hear all-inclusive, I think beach, pool. I don't necessarily think of um, mm -hmm. anything thrilling or crazy. Okay. So, my first um, assignment was to look for... Adventure themed all inclusive. So I found two, and the one that is supposed to be the be all end all is hotel, and it's spelled X C A R E T, but it's pronounced Ishkrit. 
So Hotel Ishkarit in Mexico. How do we know you're pronouncing that correctly? Because yeah. I went on Google and I hit the thing to have you them read it You can't trust Google. Okay, well. X correct, I, did, I think it is. I did YouTube. I think it's X correct because there's a Mexican restaurant in Tiffany. I think it's what? X correct. No, I swear to God, it's Ishkarit. Please. Because I was like, X-ray. We need to book someone there and they can no. go find out how it's Everyone really Everyone Google how to pronounce it. I'm telling you. <laughs> I went on YouTube. I did it. Anyways, the theme of their um, their property is all fun inclusive. So they own many adventure parks that you can get day passes to and things. But you get free transportation and access to all their parks. These parks offer um, unlimited access, round trip transportation to all of their adventure parks which include zip lining, hanging bridges through like jungles, uh, kayaking, snorkeling, cliff jumping, <laughs> river rafting through caves. So like you can go in the caves and, and there's white water rafting in there. Mayan jungle tours. You can rent ATVs. Um, sea notes. Is that how? Cenotes. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to trust you on the name of that resort. Please, I just want to look up. Cenotes. Which tacos, are, they have, they serve tacos. Which are... <laughs> burritos. Oh <my> gosh, <laughs> so <many>. Quesadillas. <laughs> um, they are actually sinkholes, and they're filled with underground water that's really cool and refreshing. Um, you can see manatees, stingrays, and swim with dolphins. So they have all these different options. And that's there included? Are, yes, at this How's hotel. possible? And it's very, I mean, it's pretty pricey, the, the property. The resort. Well, if you're getting all that included, yeah. those are normally yeah, a couple hundred bucks a check. I know. Probably those those. Individually, that oh, probably. I know. I know. So if you're going to do those things, yes, you could probably save if money. That's, if that's if you're looking for an all inclusive adventure resort, I, this is the place to what go. What country is this in? Cancun. Oh, that's Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> oh, Mexico. <laughs> Mexico. They're really making me Mexico. look like I'm not intelligent, but I <laughs> no, swear I am. I have to say, this sounds amazing because I know crazy people that would like oh, that you know. stuff. And not me, but that. And a couple of them have buffets and alcohol. Like that's included. Now you're speaking our language, right? That's included <laughs> from that would be all inclusive there as well. And they have lagoons you can just chill at too, but you have access to all of the fun things that are within the parks. Wow! And transportation. I mean, if your adventure all inclusive, this is the place to go. I wonder if you had like a bachelor or bachelorette party. Could they do yeah, something like that if they're, if they're into that crazy stuff? Extremely highly rated, reviewed. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I guess. How have we never heard real. of this? I have. You have? Yeah. I just, I'm yeah. Sheltered. I didn't know how to pronounce it, so I was hesitant to <laughs> talk about it. Um, so I found one other place, too, in uh, Costa Rica, the Rio Palace in Costa Rica. It is a five-minute walk to something similar. It's called Diamante Echo Adventure Park. A lot of the same... But they have horseback riding, volcano excursions, because there's volcanoes and stuff in Costa Rica. Um, so it's very similar, all included, um, and walking distance from the property. Okay, so you stay at the property. It's all yeah. one, but five-minute yeah. walk, and you can and do all that stuff. Included. Yep. And that's in Costa Rica, which is kind of known for adventures. Yeah, there's lots of adventure in yeah. Costa Rica. Yeah, and I knew that that was true, so I wanted to look for a place there, mm -hmm. too. That if you, you know... Does that include food and drinks, that place, too? Or yes. is that an option? Or Yeah. Wow. So these are intense places. They are. But, yeah. Okay. I, but I think that would be a way to still get the all-inclusive experience, not to worry about your food and your beverages and all that. A wonderful property to stay at and then be able to have fun all day. See, I think Chrissy should lead a group to one of these places. <laughs> <laughs> Zip lining with Chrissy. Horseback riding with Chrissy. You know? Jumping in the cenotes. <laughs> or C notes. <laughs> I know how to say tequila, that's all. <laughs> Uno mas, uno mas. you call it tequila before. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. <laughs> well, those sound, those sound amazing sound... for people that like that stuff. I mean, I think so. get your money's worth. Yeah. Okay, what about the rest of us? So I'm going on a family okay. trip. We're going to an all-inclusive. Yes. I'm looking forward to the, uh, the beach, not the beach, excuse me, the pool where it's safe and there's a drink person with the drinks. I've got nephews and nieces that like adventure because yes. they're crazy. What what resorts like that? What can they do for people if you're with a group or you know they want to do a variety? You know. So what I think we would do then is we would get you whatever resort that you want to stay at to make everyone happy. And the parks, these parks that are offered through Ishkaret, um, 
you can buy day passes for those. So you can do excursions. So oh. you can lead the people back that want to chill and relax. The smart and people. then the group that wants to book an excursion, which we can do those as well. And you can do food tours. You can do uh, tequila tasting, the dolphins, mine ruins, catamarans. You can uh, get an excursion on a, a catamaran. Uh, parasailing, fishing charters, and jet skis. To name a few. So what is a day, do you, how much does a day pass cost? It depends. Okay. Like I booked uh, um, somebody who's going to uh, Riviera Maya, but they wanted one day. So we got them one of these, um, a day pass for one of these. Oh. And, but it includes everything. They get the food, they get the beverages. Oh, wow. Dolphin <clears throat> encounters, <throat> all that. And I think it was like 155 a person. That's not bad for all that's included in no. excursions. And transportation. Stuff. Those excursions so, alone could be yeah. a couple hundred bucks. Yes, exactly. So they can spend the day, I, I they can spend it's like eight to eight. And they can have okay. lunch there and dinner there and everything. Now uh, you mentioned dolphins. I know Tamara is a, you know, she likes to protect Mother Earth and the animals, so she's against that stuff. But Chrissy, you're an animal lover. Is the dolphins is that on your hit list? Um Swimming with the Dolphins? I don't know. It kinda makes me sad because I think we're I mean but I, I do want to pet one and kiss one. <laughs> okay, so on, on, so my, I'm torn. on my cruise, um, Ariel or Earl and Daisy, my friends from Cuba that live in Miami now, uh, they did the dolphin excursion at one of the ports, and they had a blast. She said yes. they were hugging and kissing and oh, riding, and um, said it was worth every penny, and that it was like a it was like the best experience of their life. I said, what about marriage? And Daisy said <laughs> the dolphin was better. Ooh. So <laughs> I know. I mean, I think it is bucket list for me, but I do get the captivity thing. It makes me kind of sad. But they were raised for that. Not really. They okay. Were raised to frolic in the ocean. <laughs> Not these ones. <laughs> okay, so those sound great. Yeah. I, I learned something now. Tammy, you said you already knew that stuff, but I, that's interesting. Yeah. A good. Uh, so you have options. Good option. You can make everybody happy. At one resort. I wonder if we should Adam. throw out that option to my family's group and see oh, if there's yeah. anyone that wants to go do something yeah. like that for a day. Absolutely. That might be interesting. Okay. Okay. Good job, Chrissy. A I plus. Thank you. A Yay. plus. That's I'm good. Done. <laughs> uh, you can still pay attention and chime in when appropriate. Okay. Okay. Uh, Tamara, yeah. I thought we'd start with an easy one for you. Okay. Because um, a lot of people don't realize this, but Disney itself offers some amazing adventure mm -hmm. travel in itself. They do. So tell us about that. So I look at adventure two ways. I look at it as physically adventurous and culturally adventurous. And with Disney, Disney has a little company called Adventures by Disney. They're, those trips are amazing. They are more culturally adventurous. You get some really unique experiences with them. They are uh, very rated very highly in their customer service. So you will have a local guide as well as your tour guide in every place you visit. You get to do some really cool, unique things. And they have adventures all over the world. They're perfect for uh, multifamily or even just a couple that wants to go or just a, a single family that wants to go. They have um, just some amazing opportunities. Yeah, you know, uh, I did some of the training as a part of the college knowledge. It was amazing, like the hiking things they do, all these yeah. fun activities and the cook. I mean, I didn't know Disney had that, yeah. that whole Adventures yeah. by Disney. I mean, it's amazing to think about that offering. If you like Disney and the service they provide at their theme parks, you will love Adventures by Disney because they, they take that concept and they transfer it to other locations around the world. You do a safari. I think I saw Australia this morning. Uh, lots in Europe. Like, imagine going on an Adventures by Disney tour and looking at castles through the eyes of Disney. I, I think that would be just an amazing trip. So, they're great. Now, you don't expect Mickey or Minnie to be in the no, safari vehicle no, with you. So, no. it's not like that kind <laughs> no. of Disney, but it's like the elevated experience yes. and service yes. and quality of Disney, and right? storytelling. <clears throat> Disney really knows how to, tell, how to tell the story of a place or location or idea. So, uh, they're experts at that. Highly trained guides high level of service, you will not be disappointed with an adventure by Disney. Yeah, I think that's a bucket list for me. Some of those trips that they have are just amazing. Mm -hmm. A little, I mean, well, how would you they're, explain the, the cost? I always go to they're that. They're a little pricey, but when you start, if you deconstruct a trip and start looking at everything individually, really, when you buy a package store like that, they, it's not, they're not too far off for the level of service and yeah. what you get 
the accommodations, the transportation within the tour, the the knowledge of the guides, the experiences, I think it's worth it. Okay. And you don't have to worry about anything. Everything's taken care of for you. Yeah. That's a plus. You don't have to worry about, like, where are we going to have dinner tonight? Because you know where, they know where you're going to have dinner that night. And it's going to be culturally adventurous and immersive in that local community. Okay. Ah, so. sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to open the floodgates uh -oh. because Tamara is the wealth of knowledge. <laughs> so I've given leeway here. Uh -oh. So Tamara, other adventures, adventure travel in the head that has all the knowledge of Europe, other adventure travels you want to share, any other ideas that you have when we talk about adventure travel? So, um, as I mentioned, there's like the uh, culturally adventurous and the physically adventurous, and you can get those anywhere in the world. And I, I can't obviously talk about everything, so I'm going to focus on Europe today. But just know that you can get these adventures in South America. There's so many amazing adventures, not just yeah. Machu Picchu, which is what a lot of people think of, but, uh, you know, cruising down the Amazon and, and doing really unique things that not a lot of people get to do. Same with Asia. There's a lot of things in yeah. Asia. Asia is really starting to open back up. Popular. Vietnam, Thailand, those are all mm -hmm. really um, adventurous places. And there's also lots, lots of cultural experience as well. So in Europe, which is kind of my playground right now, um, they, they're, there's a wealth of things to do. There's uh, You can go hiking through the Alps. You can go... Um, skiing in the Alps. You can, I wrote some things down here, you can go biking through France. You can go uh, to St. Moritz, which is a winter playground. Um, you can do water sports on the Adriatic. So there are lots of companies that put these types of trips together for you. And I just brought one. This is Backroads Adventures. And I brought some catalogs with me this morning because I was zipping through them, just looking at some of the things you can do. Imagine like biking through Tuscany in uh, in the height of uh, the grape harvesting season. And what's great with these companies is they take care of all the details. So they provide the bikes, they provide the equipment, they will move your luggage from location to location. Um, the adventure uh, without the adventure. Yeah. yeah. The adventure so, of worrying yeah. about all your crap. <laughs> right. right. Well, they make you just go experience you can just, it. Exactly. You just experience <clears throat> it. Same with hiking. Uh, there are hiking trails all through Europe. Uh, we were at uh, Neuschwanstein, which is, which is a castle. And uh, it's in the middle of really nowhere. And you see little little signs for hiking trails all over the trees around there. You, if you're driving through Germany, you will see people just off the side hiking. It's a different concept. Like, they're very physically active in Europe compared to us. But um, So if you want to hike through... That's awfully judgmental, Tamara. If you want to hike through Spain, let's say, uh, they will move your luggage for, to the next stop. They will have every... If you have a problem, they're there to help you and assist you. There are there's a million different things you can do. Uh, this company in particular, Backroads, has trips um, that are sort of easy. So maybe you have a day of physical activity and then a day of cultural activity. So you get a little bit of a break. Uh, they have trip trips for couples, friends, and solos. They have trips for families, and they even break it down further. So if you have young children, they have specific trips geared to, towards that. If you have older teens, there's specific trips for that. Uh, if you have children that are in their 20s, their early 20s, they've got a great um, itinerary of trips for you. Uh, if you are going with a group, a bachelorette group or a bachelor group or just a group of friends, they have trips geared towards that. So there's a million different things, boating, diving, Lots and lots and lots of things. Okay. Yeah. I, now I have a question. Yeah. You know, Iceland is popular now. Yeah. So there's Iceland, then there's those, the big spring with a blue hole, a blue, whatever. Blue lagoon. Blue, lagoon. Mm -hmm. blue holes over here in Castalia. <laughs> um, is that considered adventure travel? Going, like If I were to go um, there and that's a spring, I'm a little afraid of that stuff. Is that adventure or no? Like just jumping in the blue lagoon? I wouldn't. I would. I mean, it's adventurous, but you can get a lot more adventure in Iceland. You can go trekking on a glacier. You can go in trekking through caves. You can just go hiking for a couple of days. We have companies and suppliers that can uh, arrange that for you so that, you know, you hike, 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 and then you have a place to stop in the middle of nowhere. They've got tents for you. Or oh, the glass roof, the little buildings yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Or they'll take you out to see the uh, the lights, the oh, Aurora Borealis. The northern, yeah, the Northern Lights. If you're into adventure, we have a trip for you. We can make that fit for you. 
Okay, I'm, my anxiety is going up because these I, I just need a beach, <laughs> not even a beach, a pool. Yeah, uh, you can go boating. We've talked, we've talked about that On before. On the boat, yeah. Yeah, you can go boating. I see, I could do that. That and would what, be a fun adventure. What I like about adventure <clears throat> travel is that you get, you get deep into the local communities. You are kind of bypassing the big things like Rome, let's say, and seeing the Colosseum and the Vatican. You're really getting into the little local communities where... It's the real the real culture. You can see how they really live. Oh, and there's one more thing I want to mention. So, in doing research um, a while ago, there's uh, there are companies that provide beer hiking through Europe, which mm-hmm. I think is kind of cool. Minus the hiking part. <laughs> <laughs> so you will listen up, Brett. <laughs> you will hike to uh, different breweries along the way, and if there are none in that segment of your day, they will bring you beer. As you're hiking, to try. Like, you'll be on the path, and then all of a sudden, there will be a spread of beer for you that they provided okay. for you. Yeah. So, would spread. Brett be able to do that? Because no. probably no Bud Light. No. Okay. <laughs> I thought maybe a group trip for our yeah, group no, might be a won't. fun, you know, experience. You might hike if there's, <clears throat> yeah. Maybe for I a day. Sounds fun. I'll ride in the vehicle that brings the bags, and I'll meet you at the next stop. <laughs> But if you have a family that's adventurous and you're not adventurous, we can also curate that trip so that the adventure people go off and you do something a little less physically adventurous, more culturally adventurous. Yeah, you know, I said my mom was is watching or was watching, and I thought I think that our family trip we should we should have that option for those yeah. kids because I don't know what these these twenty year olds are gonna do. Yeah, they, I could see them go off and being yeah. crazy. <laughs> Okay, good. That's very good. All right, now it's time to turn to everyone's favorite focus, and that is the cruise with your favorite cruise travel specialist, Michael. So, all right, we all kind of looked at this adventure thing a little differently. So I looked at adventures on the boats themselves, which are like cities on the sea, but then adventures similar to kind of what you guys said, too, at the ports of call. So first, we're going to talk about the boats. We've talked about these cruise ships now. Tamara hates them. That They're like floating metropolises with 10,000 passengers, 5,000 crew, all around. Kids. Yeah, yeah. And But these boats have everything for it, whether it's the go-kart adventure, the zip lining adventure, whether it's the, um, whether you want to um, skydive, you know, in the tube, you know, you want to climb mountains, whether you want to just swim, surf. Uh, they have the, um, well, MSC had the, um, the simulators with the uh, white wild rafter oh. they have one of those and then the f1 thing yep. these ships nowadays have so many adventures even on them in and of themselves skating i mean everything there's adventures yeah. for everyone so i think for family you know i could go be at the pool and watch the people do a belly flop contest well <laughs> the crazy people can go zip lining above us yes or do any of those crazy kind of things yeah. on ship so uh, on ship there's adventures for you yeah <clears throat> One of the ships I just booked is called Adventure of the Seas, so it's kind of appropriate, right? Mm-hmm. So, and after your family is going to have an adventure. Uh, then there's also the ports. I don't want to be too redundant, but it's similar excursions uh, to what, what the lady said. So think of the 50 offerings at each place Chrissy said. Those are individual excursions. So whether you want to do a food tour, whether you want to do an ATV, whether you want to do zip lining, whatever your, your the dolphins, whatever your cup of tea is, yeah. there's something for you at ports. What I like is now a lot of the cruise lines are starting to identify the different levels of activity. So for those who maybe need a low impact, easy kind of um, excursion, there's more of the vehicle tours. Whereas like there's the high intensity tours where you're doing the zip lining. Um, the group I was with on uh, the cruise, they did an excursion. I was scheduled to do it, but I had to work. Uh, they they did the zip lining over the falls, Dunn Falls, and mm-hmm. then they climbed the the falls. Um, lots of good stories that I won't reveal on here, but um, oh, let's be honest, you were glad you got out. I was going to say you were going <laughs> to well, do that. After but... the stories I heard, I was like, thank God I had to book a trip. <laughs> so um, thank you to the person I booked Key West to. So that's good. <laughs> Uh, you got me out of that because my life would have been in someone else's uh, little strings hand. So I've got plenty of stories for that. Um, but people like that stuff. Yeah. My group had a story of a lifetime. So uh, there's lots of different activities like that, lots of different excursions yeah. um, and opportunities to live your best life uh, through adventure travel that way. So What yeah. about the, uh, the expedition ships? Okay, so if you're into that, good point. Uh, this is definitely a bucket list. It gets to be a little bit pricier, but they have these new amazing ships out there and some old ones that are designed for this where the ships are designed to go into exotic places so they can handle Antarctica, so they can handle 
the River Nile, so they can handle you know all these unique places. Galapagos, yeah, yeah it's definitely a buck. They just mm-hmm. build a brand new ship. One of the cruise lines, gorgeous. They build these ships for those specific itineraries. So if it's Antarctica, they have the hull uh, so that you can jump in your little buoy boat and get out, and the ship leaves the ship to go explore the areas. Wow. They have all the equipment. They have the they have the special closets to dry the equipment. I mean, they have everything in these ships that are designed specifically for mm. um, these adventurous mm-hmm. places. I will be honest, they're a little pricey, but these are bucket lists that you kind of have to do oh, at some point. Amazing. Because, I mean, the ships are amazing, but you see that the animals, the pictures, you know, I hate animals, but I mean, it's you're close <laughs> to like these animals in exotic places, and it's just amazing. Um, experiences and adventures. I'm glad you brought that up. Herdegruten, they they are a big one in Europe. Um, that's a cruise line, and they uh, they will go into the fjords of Norway. They do a lot of Scandinavia. They take you into little places that you don't get to go in a big cruise ship, or you don't get to go on a land tour either. They can really get you into those little places that yeah. no, not a lot of people go to. I was at a seminar once. They were talking about Silver Sea and uh, mm-hmm. an adventure cruise, expedition cruise. I think it was South the South Pole. And uh, they sent a drone out over the the ice, and there was a mother polar bear and oh, we saw that video, the, yeah. her daughter, baby, <clears throat> and uh, this drone followed the mom and the baby for a while. And it just you don't get to see that, <laughs> like you like that's a once in a lifetime opportunity to see that happen. So the drone, the ship was there. You see the ship in the background. They sent the drone out to get the footage so the people on the ship could see it up close as it was happening in the distance. Wow. So, I mean, you know what's cool about some of those is that they start at South America. So you have almost two vacations. Yeah, they hit some ports in South America, nice, warm, kind of cool uh, experiences like that with adventures, and then you cross over to you know yeah. the yeah. cold side, and so you right. kind of get two adventures in one. I mean, the, the ships are just mm-hmm. pretty amazing. Now I feel bad for the bear that was getting chased by a little machine buzzing. Didn't even know. What about the bears' rights? You're all about the dolphins' rights. What about the bears' rights? <clears throat> I'm going to stand up for the bears' rights. Okay. That's right. Okay, so those are some great adventures for our niches, right? Yeah, there's lots more. Oh, okay. Yeah. About, but yeah. we, well, we got to get back to work at some yeah. point, Tamara. So, yeah. uh, all right, so those are the adventures now. If you want to learn more about any of those adventures that we mentioned, those options, or if you have something in mind, um, give us a call, connect with us, and we will help you, Okay. So I thought we'd shift to a, a fun adventure because usually this time of the show, um, our stomachs start to growl a little bit. And um, tying that hole, we get hungry. And with adventures is that we do something in our, our little company here called, um, let me see here, Universal Yum. So I'm going to hold up the box here. This is what comes in the mail. We already opened a little bit. This is what comes in the mail once a month. Universal Yums. It's, it's backwards there, I think. But, and so this is our adventure every month that we get a little treat. So what it is, is this box comes and they feature a different country every month or part of the world. And then they give food samples and it's an adventure as you go through. So this month we have got um, South Korea. So let me show you. This is what they <laughs> sent. The, well, map, North Korea is on the map. But look at the South Korea and then it shows... Um, the different locations and the different food of these locations. And so, like, if you want an adventure here at home like we do, we get these little treats every month. So, <clears throat> And they send you this little booklet, too, that's got more information about the treats and little trivia. And uh, Some of them are very in- – some of the things they send are very, very interesting. So what I thought we would do <laughs> is, because this is a little bit of adventure, we're always a little hungry, we're each going to open one of the items and we're going to do a little sample. On air, this is an adventure, okay? So, Chrissy, I have selected... Well, you, is there anything no, better get there? your hand out of there. <laughs> this is from uh, South Korea. This is called Chocolate Corn. Oh, okay. It's got a cute cute little cartoon. So, Chrissy's going to have the adventure of sampling that, okay? Um, <clears throat> Give me the weird Tamara, you, I think you'll like this. This is churro. Hey, hey. I see a good one for Tamara right there. We got all day. Shrimp chips. (laughs) We have all day to eat this adventure. Uh, Tamara, you're going to try these churro snacks because it's very cultural. Look at these churro snacks from uh, South Korea. You didn't give me the shrimp chips. I don't think these are very, like, Hey, shut up. Okay. And then I'm going to do, there's no name on it. It just says, so hot. And it's very (laughs) spicy because I like the spicy stuff. This is our adventure. So, Okay. It's sweet and spicy. I can't even tease. 
C-E-O-K-B-O-K-K-I-T. Tam, Tamra, let Chrissy pronounce it because she's our queen. Of it. <laughs> well, they look like rigatoni noodles. It says crunchy snacks inspired oh. by Korean rice cakes. It's a little bland, but these are good. It's got all oh, the sweet. Oh, there's a little spice. You want to try it? <laughs> no, I don't like it. Oh, you want to try that? I'll open it. Alright, I'll try my chocolate corns. Those are bad. These, the spice kind of background spice. These look like Cheetos that are just chocolate. <laughs> You're all watching us do gluttony today. <laughs> oh, these look good. Before, the churros. Go. Oh, these are kind of cute. Oh. These are okay. They're like little churros. This tastes like... Oh, they're good. Tastes like a churro. A chocolate Rice crispy or something. No, thanks. I'm to try this okay. So that was our tasting adventure for the day. And we're glad we got to share that Why with you. Why are we eating churros from South Korea? That just seems weird. That's part of the adventure of Universal Yum. So if you are interested in Universal Yums, we can help, help you figure yeah, out how to... Yeah, it's kind eat. of fun. They come every month. And um, mm -hmm. we, we actually send um, a game to some of our families called Yum or Yuck. Yeah, so it's, we played uh, it. It's fun. Yeah, it's uh, got different candies in there. And you get to decide whether it's good or bad. It's a fun little game for your family if they're interested in yeah. learning more. When we travel... We like to stop in grocery stores and uh, we usually bring back some sort of weird treats from that place. So if you can't tell, the team at The Good Life Travel likes to have fun. And so this is one way that we can share some of our fun with you, those yeah, of you yeah. watching, as we taste an adventure in our mouths. Because Churros from South Korea. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> so we're going to spend the rest of the day eating those. So this is going to be a good day. Um, that's all of our adventures for today. Does that sound good for adventures? Yes. All right. Before we wrap up, I like to go through what we're covering, what we're doing at the Good Life Travel Company. We said we moved our, our new office space, which is mm -hmm. always fun. Booking lots of groups. So if you're interested in groups, we have a whole page on our website about our upcoming group travel. So look on the top bar, travels and upcoming travels on there, and you'll see um, three wonderful cruise opportunities. Is it three? It might be. Yeah, it's three. So we've got um, first will be Escape the Snow in March. We've got Alaskan Adventure in June, and then we've added Hawaii, <laughs> Hawaii in October. So um, just had a group come back from that cruise, had a great experience, um, loved the culture, loved the food, loved the beauty. So um, if you're interested in Hawaii Island cruises, um, that group one, let me know. So that's coming up. Anything else with uh, office news? Well, I just wanted to say that um, if you're thinking about a trip to Europe next year, especially early part of summer, it's time to, it's time to start talking. Things are really starting to kind of uh, book up in Europe. So uh, That's across the board. I was trying to find cruises, and they're, they're yeah. filled up. I mean, Travel's yeah. back. I was <laughs> surprised that the, the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party yeah. is sold, sold out. out, completely sold out for the rest of the year. So I anticipate that'll be happening with Christmas as well. Yep. So if you're interested in traveling... Um, it's, it, we can find those last minute things, but it's kind of hard. You may not get what you want to do. They, they're saying that there's more sales now than 2019 before COVID. Yeah. Like there's more people traveling, more yeah. more bookings and stuff like that. So, yep. I mean, we're new, but it, we're crazy busy now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested, um, reach out, connect with us, right? Yep. yep. Um, any uh, new news in your area of specialty or any fun cruise, uh, fun cruise, fun <laughs> trip that you've booked? Excuse me. <laughs> Anything? Um, I started, uh, I had a request for a trip to the Kentucky Derby. Ooh. So in doing that, I've um, found a couple suppliers now that I've been looking at a lot of the different trips they offer. They're really neat. I mean, you go to the Masters, you can do car races, you can do horse races, Olympics. I mean, there's so many different events, sporting events. And this is a simple way to create a package that includes transportation, breakfast many times, uh, tickets to the event. Um, so I'm having fun with that, and I, I hope to do some more. There you go. If you're interested in those, yeah. connect with Chrissy. Tamara, anything new or fun or exciting or good I, trips? I've been, I've been doing a lot. I uh, just did a Barcelona, um, uh, the adventures for their Barcelona trip. I just wrapped up a Portugal-Spain trip. Uh, lots of Italy, Ireland, lots of Europe. Good. So let me see. Uh, so many good ones, you know. All right, I'll do one. Yesterday I booked a, a family of four. I mentioned this earlier on Adventure of the Seas. They're out of Galveston. We've talked about mm -hmm. pre-cruising in Galveston. I like to have, yeah, we talked about what to do in ports. So I like to have a little cheat sheet for my people that are going to do the pre-cruise. So you go a day early so you don't miss your cruise. 
like to have a cheat sheet for them. And I've been doing some research on Galveston. Everything to do sounds like an awesome place. Mm -hmm. We mentioned it before, but it's a growing cruise port. A number of them, are, uh, cruise lines are building new terminals there. Lots to see and do um, from historical stuff to adventure stuff to um, shopping. Galveston seems like a, a really cool place. So I'm excited for their pre-cruise. They have a, a chunk of maybe six hours after the cruise before the flight evening. So I think there's plenty of time to do stuff. Of course, they're going to have a blast on the cruise. Who wouldn't? But um, but it'll be a good experience for them in, in Galveston. So I'm excited about that. Who wouldn't? One other thing I wanted to point out, we still have tickets available for all you uh, guys and gals, or guys, you know, whatever, bridegrooms, whatever you got going, for the bridal show in uh, Cleveland, okay? It's an independence. Rock We're going to, there you go. We're going to have a booth there. Um, Christy and I are going to be um, slinging travel, slinging, travel. slinging honeymoon, <laughs> so stop by. If you want tickets, we do have them available. Just let us yeah. know, and we'll give you the code, and you can do it online. You don't have to pay the... 10 or 20 bucks or whatever it is. So yeah. if you're interested in that, if you're getting married soon, we'll also be the following, that's the first weekend in August, uh, first Sunday in October. The following one here in Sandusky, there's going to be another bridal show at the 1058, mm -hmm. 1058, the Hall on Perkins. And uh, we're going to have a booth there too. Mm -hmm. Tamara and I will be slinging honeymoons there. <laughs> so if you're looking for any of that stuff, stop by, see us, and we will take care of you uh, for all your romantic travel needs. Yeah. More than just honeymoons. Yeah. Anniversaries. Yeah. Destination weddings, too. Yeah. Weddings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on one of those right now. Are you? Yeah. Where? Anywhere fun? Um, could be several places. They want to get married on New Year's Eve. Um, ah. Uh, 2024, so I have some time. But I'm finding that some hotels block those days out for holidays. So... You know, I used to be in a group every year that would go after between Christmas and New Year's, and I notice a lot more Europeans go then, and they'll go for two or three weeks. So I don't okay. know if it's if that's like a you know they do those holidays yeah. that are longer. If that's when they all kind of head there because they have yeah. a block of time, so it might have to be competitive. Yeah. Yep. So okay, so destination weddings. Chris yep. has got you handled. Yep. And I think that's all we've got for this week uh, for our Travel Talk Tuesday. We're working on another fun show for next week. We don't want to um, ruin any surprises for you, but we hope you'll tune in. And again, any of these places we talked about, any adventure travel, anywhere you want to go, so you can live the good life, we will help get you there. So thank you, everyone. Thanks, ladies. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.